So fairly significant upgrade for 2023 to this model. We've got new front and rear fascias, new headlights, new wheels, new seats, new instrument cluster, new dash, new heated third row seats, as well as infotainment and safety system upgrades too. It's a heavy refresh on a model that Hyundai recently used to enter the three-row mid-sized SUV segment with force. Pricing from 50504 with standard eight-passenger seating in the preferred trim grade, with the mid-range Palisade Urban opening the bidding from 55007 The Ultimate Calligraphy, my tester, comes in from 59003 Its optional $250 steel graphite paint upgrade makes it about 59005 for the machine on your screen. That includes all-wheel drive and an automatic eight-speed, second-row captain chairs and a 291 horsepower V6 engine under the hood. Drivers are backed by a long list of the latest safety tech including blind spot collision avoidance, safe exit assist, driver attention warning, remote controlled parking, and more. On board, my tester presented an effective invitation for drivers to get in and get settled with their new high-tech toy box. Dark and formal from a glance, the cockpit lets plenty of tech shine through the scenery, with expert use of gloss, texture, metallics, flowing shapes, and upscale control surfaces. The sculpted, metallic-trimmed steering wheel and textured metal central command console take center stage visually, with a push-button shifter, climate controls, and a drive mode selector dial on the console. Just above, a full-screen digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel, itself positioned just below the head-up display projection that hovers in the lower part of the windshield above. Don't miss the curvaceous center console trimmed in a textured metallic finish that's gracefully draped around the opening of the bin, which itself includes wireless smartphone charging and some spring-loaded cup holder flippies that spring into action with a button press. Just ahead, the gear shifter and drive selector let drivers switch into gear and define their ideal drive mode and terrain setting using a single button and dial interface, with selections repeated in the instrument cluster display. Just a tap and a twist sets the Palisade up in one of four drive modes, or in one of three specialized all-wheel drive modes for sand, mud, and snow. Central Command touchscreen right here will get you right up close in there for a look at the graphics. Nice and sharp. Good job mitigating the glare on that screen surface, but will it work with our gloves on? No, it will not. That's par for the course. Most of these touchscreen systems will not work if you're wearing your winter gloves. Also the case here, take our glove off and everything works just fine. Elsewhere, it's glossy pinstriped accenting, plenty of stitch work, and a clean flush integration of switches and buttons within their surroundings, helping to add a high-tech flair throughout. Strong display graphics and a quality feel to the Switch gear help round out the package. If you're dropping 60 grand on one of these, I think you'll feel like you're getting your money's worth from the cabin in terms of its look and feel. That is Ghost. Ghost is a very, very good boy, uh, but he is getting to an age where we've got to be a little more careful with him. Jumping in and out of the back of an SUV like this 2023 Hyundai Palisade. So to help get the job done safely, in this case, we're using this little ramp here that I got from WeatherTech makes things a little bit more easy on his hips and joints when it comes time to board and exit. I think your average size family canine is going to be fine jumping in and out of the back of something this size. But if you've got a bit of an older boy like me, uh, having a ramp on board is gonna be a good idea for you. It makes life a little bit easier on their hips and joints. Elsewhere, expect a wide range of clever little features and touches that intend to make life easier. Specifically, wiper and light selections are repeated with on-screen graphics, so there's no need to second-guess the position of the control stocks. The parking camera system switches from forward to reverse cameras as you shift from drive to reverse, making for faster and easier parking. The rear tailgate auto opens for you if you simply stand still directly behind it for a moment. And remote-controlled parking can make life easier in a variety of situations by allowing you to park or pull your Palisade from its space using the remote before you get in or after you get out. The Palisade uses a free-breathing 3.8-liter V6 in a segment where many competitors offer turbocharging and hybrid tech, both of which improve performance and reduce fuel consumption. With neither of those technologies applied here, the engine is a bit old school. It's smooth and relatively quiet with the revs kept down, but lacks the low RPM punch familiar amongst competitor turbo and hybrid engines. Heavier-footed drivers will need more revs, which is more noise and shifting from the powertrain to satisfy the hunger for a low-speed response, and that slightly eats away at refinement. All right, so the road test, and this is where we will see the Palisade's best and worst work. 
After the better part of 2,000 kilometers at the wheel, the first thing that grabbed my attention about the Palisade, and the thing that kept that attention the longest, was the way it rides. It's an attribute high on my list of surprises for 2022. Specifically, it's a lovely highway cruiser with a smooth and dense feel beneath the driver, and a suspension that masterfully soaks up and mitigates bumps and noises from the drive. On smooth highways at speed, expect a planted, dialed-in, and secure feel that stands up very nicely to rougher surfaces both on ride comfort and noise levels. Even rolling on a set of 20-inch wheels, which rarely do ride quality any favors, my tester proved an excellent highway travel partner that was keen to keep the drive comfortable, quiet, and as tranquil as possible. On rougher secondary highways in northern Ontario, the ride quality stands up well to increased abuse from the road surface. Suspension and tire noise increase but are kept nicely in check. The stiff body structure helps reduce flexing over bumps, which improves comfort and reduces the noise pumped into the cabin by rougher surfaces, and the suspension manages to maintain its dense, soft composure even when taking fire from a choppy or uneven road surface beneath. Also, and impressively, I didn't detect any interior panel or trim rattles or clicks on rough surfaces. That's not something I can say about a whole lot of $90 or $100,000 luxury SUVs I've recently driven on these same roads. So expect a consistently comfortable ride that impresses primarily for its ability to maintain a composed, finely tuned feel even when the going gets rough. Or very rough. The consistent ride comfort extended even to my worst-case scenario testing surface, a particularly craggy section of beaten up back roads that I used to torture suspensions. The Palisade performed very well here, on a surface where few SUVs do. Even when taking maximum abuse from the road surface at elevated speeds, noise, vibration, and harshness levels were surprisingly strong. The vehicle remained easy to control, and there wasn't a click or pop of interior trim or paneling to be heard. Other favorites on this testing surface include the Nissan Pathfinder, Land Rover Discovery, Porsche Macan, Buick Envision Avenir, and Cadillac XT6. Elsewhere on the Palisades Drive, you'll notice steering that's highly variable, firm and heavy at speed to clamp the machine down on its selected line on the highway, and precise enough to easily place the machine between the lines on narrow, winding, two-lane highways common in my locale, with minimal need to second-guess or readjust. Slow things down when entering a parking lot or more congested spaces, and the steering lightens, making it easier to maneuver. Fitted with a set of Continental Viking Contact 7 tires, I found the Palisade's braking bite on hard-packed snow to be impressive, but left my tests the most impressed by how little road noise they generated on bare, cold pavement, which helps contribute to the quiet drive. So if you're looking for a set of winter tires for your Palisade, I think you'll find these to be a very good choice. Like the steering, the Palisade's braking feels that little extra fine-tuned as well, the pedal is more responsive and precise to light pressure inputs than I usually expect in a crossover, with relatively eager initial bite and easy modulation of braking force with the tips of your toes if you like. So enthusiast drivers will likely appreciate a steering and braking feel that's slightly more athletic and tuned than the norm, adding driver confidence and increasing that driver-to-car connection. The all-wheel drive system is mostly invisible and even stands up well to spirited driving with lots of power ready to be sent to the rear axle on command. Some situations see torque steer or a little more front wheel spin than some drivers will like, though making sure you're in snow or sport mode on slippery surfaces can reduce that effect and get more power flowing more evenly to both axles off the line. For most drivers, most of the time, just leave the selector in smart mode and let the machine call the shots. The auto-stop system is smooth but feels slow and sludgy compared to other competitors who can restart their engines and get away from a green light more quickly. Elsewhere on Gripes, I consistently wished for a stronger performing windshield washer sprayer system at higher speeds, and I miss the backup rear-view camera washer system you'll find in numerous competitors for the money, which makes it easier to keep exterior cameras clean and functional at all times. Finally, the push-button shifter is easy to use, but when you've got four identical buttons to select gears, you've always got to look down and make sure you've hit the right one, making this a little more complex than it needs to be. Though performance, fuel mileage, and refinement from the powertrain are outgunned by competitor products using turbocharging or hybrid tech, a slick interior, generous feature content, and numerous handy touches will more than compensate for most shoppers. The Palisade is not your best pick for performance or fuel efficiency, but if ride comfort and high tech are high on your wish list, you'll want to get yourself a test drive of one of these. Thank you for watching. I'm Justin Pritchard for Motoring TV, and until next time, take care and drive safe.
If you consider Motoring TV has been on the air for 30 plus years, there's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to motoringtvshop.com, get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram thing.